Hello again, Dan Richardson at the Chapel of the North Hills. We are continuing our our journey through Bible passages that teach us about prayer. And we've been doing this, we're going to day 38 today of 40, so we're nearly at the end, thinking about things that we should always pray for. Well, today I'd like us to think about Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24. Psalm 139 in its entirety is is an absolute masterpiece. And as it closes, the psalmist says this, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my concerns. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the everlasting way. So this is another prayer that we need to ask every day, that we we need to offer up every day, and it involves confession. Actually, it comes before confession because we have to ask God to show us what we need to confess because a lot of times we don't even remember or we try to excuse ourselves. There's some action that uh, we want to convince ourselves that this is not so bad. Everybody's doing it after all or We may know that it's an ugly thing and we want to hide it. We want to block it out of our minds. Kind of like if we have experienced some kind of trauma and our brain just puts a cloud over that and victims of trauma can't remember what they went through. That's that's what we get with our sin sometimes because it's ugly and we block it out. We, We just don't want to think about it. And so what we have to do is we have to stay honest and open before God. And this prayer asks God to show us anything in particular that's blocking a part of our life that we're trying to hide. It's blocking the relationship with God and blocking our transparency with God. So this is one of the particular jobs of the Holy Spirit living inside of us. He will convict us of sin. He doesn't condemn us. Remember Romans 8, 1 says that we don't have con- condemnation, but we do have conviction. And that's when the Holy Spirit points out something in our lives that we need to confess. So when he does that, then that leads us to confession. That leads us to repentance. And then when we go through with confession and repentance, then The Holy Spirit can lead us in the everlasting way. Be blessed.